Today, I'm going to be showing you how to switch desktop environments on Linux. So now, many people, when they first switch to Linux, assume that in order to change the look and feel of their desktop, they need to switch to a different distribution. But if you don't like the desktop experience that your distribution provides out of the box, you can just simply install a new desktop environment. And that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showcasing Debian and Arch, because if you're a real power user who's very serious about customizing Linux, those are the two distributions you should be on. Because the beginner-friendly ones, like Ubuntu, have their default desktop environments integrated deeply into the system to the point where you can't simply uninstall their default desktop environments without breaking your system. All right, so now Debian has a command line program called task cell, which if we pop into our terminal and do sudo task cell, it'll give us a list of desktop environments that we can install. And in this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating going from GNOME to KDE Plasma. So I'm gonna select KDE Plasma and hit enter to start the installation process. All right, and then once that's done, that will exit out. And then all we have to do is reboot. All right, now if we click on our user, you get this little gear icon on the bottom right here. And then if we click that, we can actually switch our desktop environment to KDE Plasma. And then we just punch in our password as normal, and then it'll boot us into KDE Plasma. All right, and there it is. So now if you also want to change your display manager to KDEs, which is SDDM, then you're going to go back to terminal and type sudo dpkg dash reconfigure any installed display manager. Debian by default ships with GDM3 as its display manager. But since we have SDDM installed, we could also do dpkg reconfigure SDDM. But anyway, if you do either of those things and you have multiple display managers installed, then it'll allow you to select which display manager you want to use. So let's change this to SDDM and then reboot. All right, now we have KDE's login screen. Now with that, our desktop environment selection will actually be on the bottom left because it changes depending on which display manager you're using. But now we can select our KDE Plasma. I prefer to use Wayland unless there's some reason why you need X11. But anyway, we just log in and then it brings us into our desktop environment of choice. So now, removing a desktop environment is actually a lot more complicated. Now you might be asking, well, can't I just do sudo task cell and unselect the desktop environment and uninstall it that way? Unfortunately, that only removes the meta package that installs that desktop environment, but it doesn't actually remove that desktop environment. Like our GNOME is still there. So what we have to do is remove all the desktop environment packages to do that, you have to figure out what package name it's referred to by. One way to do that is to figure out the task name for our desktop environment by doing task cell dash dash list dash tasks. And then the task name for GNOME is GNOME dash desktop. So now there's another command that we can use to get more information on the meta package for GNOME desktop. So what we're going to do is apt show dollar sign brackets and then in the brackets do task cell dash dash task dash packages equals gnome dash desktop and then it'll show us the dependencies for our 
meta package, in this case gnome-core. However, we can't just remove that package and call it a day because there's many other packages that we have installed. This is only to get an idea of like what they're referred to by, if that makes sense. Like for example, KDE could be either referred to as KDE desktop or Plasma desktop. The easiest way I've found to remove the GNOME desktop environment is to just remove every package to do with GNOME. So to do this, I'm going to do sudo apt remove dash dash purge GNOME asterisk. And that'll basically remove any package with GNOME in its name. And the dash dash purge will also remove any configuration files for those. But anyway, let's hit enter and then continue with the removal. All right, now in order to finish removing our desktop environment, we're going to do sudo apt auto remove to remove GNOME's dependencies. All right, so now if we reboot and then we look at our desktop environments, we can see that our GNOME is gone. All right, so now Arch Linux doesn't really have a easy desktop environment installation menu like you get with Debian, but rather it uses something called package groups. To make this as painless as possible, simply head over to this page, which I'll have linked in the description, which has a bunch of desktop environments listed, both officially supported and unofficially supported. So now I'm gonna scroll down to KDE Plasma as an example. So in order to install it, we're gonna install the Plasma group or the Plasma meta package. I don't think it really matters which one. And optionally, if you want the full set of KDE applications, you can also install the KDE applications group or the KDE applications meta package. Again, I don't think it really matters which one. On Arch Linux, I personally prefer to use the groups. Or if you want a minimal KDE installation, then you could also just install the Plasma desktop package. I wouldn't really recommend doing that. So I'm going to do sudo pacman s plas to get the KDE Plasma desktop, but I'm not going to do the KDE applications since this is just for demonstration purposes. But anyway, we hit enter for all of these. I would just go with default for all of them and proceed with the installation. All right, now once our desktop environment is installed, all we have to do is reboot. And then we can select our KDE desktop environment. So now in order to switch display managers on Arch, what we've got to do is sudo system ctl enable dash f and the name of our desired display manager, which for KDE is sddm. And the dash f will allow it to override the existing symlink for GDM or your current display manager. If you don't do that, then it'll just give you an error that that symlink already exists and not actually do anything. But anyway, if we reboot, all right, now we have our SDDM display manager, which I know does not look pretty by default on Arch Linux, but you can, of course, change that within the KDE settings. But anyway, we just go up to our session here and then we can select Plasma and then log in. So now if you want to, you can remove your old desktop environment. The best way to do this is actually to go back to that page where we got our package group to install our desktop environment and then just select the desktop environment that you want to remove and then figure out the package group or package groups to remove. In this case, gnome and gnome extra. So I'm going to do sudo pacman dash rs and the rs tells it to remove its dependencies as well, which we have to do in order to fully remove our desktop environment. 
and then I'm going to remove gnome and gnome extra punch in my password and yes remove these packages all right now that our gnome is removed let's reboot again and then if we go up to our sessions here now we only have KDE Plasma, no GNOME option. So now, if after removing your old desktop environment, you don't get a graphical user interface at all, and instead you get into TTY mode, that's probably because you've removed your display manager that was still in use without changing it. And without a display manager, there's no graphical user interface. So to fix that, we get a login and then specify a new display manager by doing sudo system ctl enable any installed display manager, for example, sddm, and then reboot. Now, one important thing to note here, installing a new desktop environment can conflict with certain settings like your theme, icon set, mouse cursor, fonts, things like that. So you may have to reset these after you finish installing your new desktop environment. And also there's a couple other important things to note here, specifically pull kits and settings daemons. A pull kit is essentially what sets the security policies for your system. You know how when you're, for example, installing software through your graphical package manager and it pops up a graphical password authentication screen that will allow you to escalate privileges. Well, that's what a pull kit is in charge of. And a settings daemon is what's responsible for setting your settings for your desktop session. And this is important to know because Every desktop environment has its own pull kit and settings daemon. So when you install multiple desktop environments, you could introduce conflicts with these. So that's why even though I could install KDE on vanilla Ubuntu or even Debian, I still prefer to just do a clean install of Kubuntu. So that way I already have my desktop environment of choice right out of the gate. Simply put, I just feel that Kubuntu is a better starting point for me. And that's what a Linux distribution really is. It's a starting point that you build upon to get your desktop how exactly you want it. And that's it for this video. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you next time.